Hey, my friend, and welcome to lesson four. This is where we're going to gain some clarity. Gaining clarity. Love it. Isn't it nice when you feel all cloudy and you just, gosh, you don't, you don't know what to do, and then you just finally make a choice, and then things just feel so much clearer, right? Maybe you're not quite there yet. You're wanting to gain the clarity, but you don't feel the clarity yet. So let's break it down. How do we gain clarity? Well, sometimes you need to actually research your different options. You need to dig in and see what all of the choices are. You know, sometimes you don't actually know what the choices are, especially if it's not an area you're familiar with. So let's use a medical situation, for example. If you've been diagnosed, let's say, with high blood pressure, and so you have high blood pressure. That is the diagnosis that the doctors are giving you. Now, you can, to gain clarity, like, well, that might be scary to you. Oh, my God, what do I need to do? And oftentimes, people just jump to the, the only choice that it seems to be, which maybe the choice is blood pressure medication. And that could be the right choice for you. Maybe, though, there's something inside of you that says, I want to get all the information. So let me look at all of my choices. So I might do some research. I might ask a holistic doctor. I might go to a naturopath. I might um, um, look for natural su supplements or, or medication. I might talk to uh, an expert on you know, infusions. Like I may look at all of these different pieces of information and gather all of that information and then look at it and then tune into it, and then make a choice based on a physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual alignment of information. So if, if, you, if you have a situation where you don't feel clear, and I'm not saying where you're not making a choice and you feel stuck, and, and you're just keeping yourself in that stuck energy. Because there's a difference, I think, when we're not choosing just because we're afraid and when we're not choosing because there's, there's like, I need more information. I need more clarity. And I think we know that the difference, because one feels much more external and more heady and one feels much more internal. Like, I need more guidance. Not just, not just spiritual guidance, but also guidance from all of these um, different sources of information. So I often suggest, you know, I, I don't think it's good to make a decision until you feel clear. Like if it's a health situation or something like that. If it's the paint on the house, it's not that big of a deal. If you don't feel clear, but you've got to be very honest. Are you keeping yourself stuck or are, and just don't want to choose? Or do you really feel like, I need more information? And if I need more information, I got to put that, that out. I got to take some action. I got to get some movement going and find out my options. What happens a lot of time is instead of going inside and kind of checking in inside and then gathering all that information and all the different options, we tend to sometimes just go to one person and ask them what they think. That might be the doctor. Maybe it's your sister. Maybe it's your father. That is the person you just go to. You say, well, um, this is what happens. Or this, what, what should I do? And they tell you, and you just do that. I'm asking you to make a choice based on your needs, your information, your guidance system, your emotions, your clarity, for you, so that you're not just, you know, a lot of times we go so far outside of ourselves. We ask everybody else, and we forget that I've got, I've got this energy, this source within me that could tell me, that can give me that guidance. And the guidance is going to come because you're going to have a sense to stop at Sprouts, and maybe this, this, this guy that's working there is like, knows everything about supplements. Or maybe the guidance is going to say, you know what, um, ask on social media and somebody shares like the perfect natural doctor for you. And maybe the guidance says when you're talking to that doctor, this feels right to me. And what I'm asking you to do is in gaining clarity, I'm asking you to just gather information. And then listen closely because 
your mind and your heart and your body will respond when it is the best choice for you. When it's something that's a serious situation, you really want to get into alignment with that before making a choice. And I don't want you to make it based on pressure. I also don't want you to just say, I don't like any of the answers, so I'm just going to stay stuck. Sometimes getting out of the stuckness, the way we do that, is we get more information to help us gain clarity to make the choice.